Hello and what's up everybody, I'm Shadows Alley and welcome back to the next episode of Fallout 4. Today, we are going to be going, doing the returning the favor quest, retrieving Mary's locket in the USAF satellite station, Oliver. A gentleman named Blake asked me to retrieve his late daughter's locket from the raiders that murdered her. He believes I'll find them at the satellite station, Oliver, so... We aren't very far from that position, so we are going to go ahead and head up that way. I'm just going to make sure all my weapons are reloaded. Goodbye, doggy. Okay, that might have not been the best idea. Go ahead and punch this dog to death. Okay. Thank you there, Nick. Go ahead and get my single shot assault rifle out. We're almost there. What are you after, Nick? More dogs? Seems like it. You done playing around, Nick? Let's get on to this. There's the satellite right there. Looks like there's a junkyard nearby, too. Oh, it's a glowing rat. Oh, that one blew up with hell. Where'd he go? He was just here. Where are you? Boom! Puddle Vash. Charged pipe wrench. 10% chance to deal 100 electri electrical damage on a successful block. That might sell for a bit of money. Good night. Doggy. Is it a foot? It's a mole rat foot. You're playing with the wrong scent. This is bullshit. There we go. We found it. You're gonna shoot me with a shotgun. He's got a short double barrel. Ooh, technical documents. Now, where's that person you were just shooting was at? Oh, it's there. Trouble. We're asking for it. There's a toaster or a screwdriver. Didn't raiders' mothers tell them not to stick screwdrivers and toasters? That's not a very wise, very smart thing. Well, like we're saying, the raiders are even smart, that is. They're really not that, that smart. Dog food, flint lighter, ooh, some chocolate shells, baseball mitts, and a dead end. All right, guess we got to go in here and clear this base out of raiders. I'm guessing the the raider leader is probably the one that has a locket. So we're gonna have to search him out and destroy him. Ooh, dirty water, flint, flip, lighter, flip. Flint, flip, not flint, flip. Which we need to take as many flip lighters as possible because flip lighters can give us some oil too. Even though in the last episode we found an item that we can make and then scrap it, then turn around, and scrap it, and get lots of oil too. So, oh, a laser trap. Fiber octopus and a crystal. Mutant nightmares. I don't think the mutants have nightmares. Mutants are like the 
orcs from um, Warhammer 40k, in my personal opinion. Terminal should open this. Ooh, there's mini nuke in there. Mini nuke. So we're gonna have to find another way in there. Who? Something out there. Tech dog, where'd he go? Ah. Uh -huh. Detection system must be on the fritz. Come on, Nick, get out of the way. Nick, you're always in the way. Don't jump into the Yeah, you're probably right. When you turn up, you're dead. Don't start talking crazy. Find him and kill him. You can hide. Son, you better be worth it. Your funeral. Oh, clear. Ooh. Now, that? Boom. Oh, I didn't even mean to pick up that. Don't need any of that. Ooh. How much you got left? Fusion core. Anything useful? We will be taking your minigun, though. Thank you, sir. Mortar skeletons hidden in there. These all, all these are all empty. Ooh, military grade. Ooh, another flip or lighter. Here's that. Ter here's a terminal. Maybe this terminal opens that door up there. Satellite disk status offline. Data. Stream status offline database network offline. They had no expense, did they? No, they did not. Take the handy dandy broom, though. Current cigarettes, cleaner, and um, in between episodes, I did. Oops, I did upgrade my armor a bit. They have deeper pockets now, and they are all shadowed. So when you sneak around. We hide a lot better in the darkness, which is always a plus. Ooh, Vault Tech lunchbox. Oh, this is what two centuries without a good dusting looks like. There's a fan. That's fan. On the old-fashioned fans. Those are the, me the all-metal fans. You don't want to stick your finger in there. You Talk about cut your fan your finger right off. They don't make them like they used to. What's in here? Locket. There's the locket. Right about there. Thank you. God. We are now. Oh, dear God. I don't think we're. Ooh. Gone for good. Legendary resilient pipe action pistol plus 100% damage resistance while reloading. Interesting. What was hiding back in this locked room? Nice. Just some red X in a locked cabinet. Ooh, used oil can, I guess, canister. And if everybody's w wondering, yes, this will be the last episode of Fallout 4 for at least a little while. Can't see a damn thing. Due to the fact that I have a special new series that's going to be starting, not tomorrow, but the day after. And we're going to, we're pretty much just going to take a minor small break. Of Fallout 4 to work on another project, but don't worry, we will be coming back to Fallout 4. Oh, I do plan on finishing this. Centuries without a good dusting looks like. It's just the fact that I have, like I said in the previous episode and in my la latest monthly episode, if you have not seen August monthly news, don't forget to go check that out. 
Therefore, you guys are more updated on what's going on this month. Silver Locket Toy Truck. But yes, we will be returning to this after a few weeks of working on the other project. Army Helmet and a Teddy Bear. Cigar. Ten millimeter ammo. Plus, also, I have some other DLCs that I'm waiting to get for this that I haven't picked up yet. I think we are done with this quest, honestly. Yep, report your success to Blake. I don't remember where Blake is. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Okay. U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Yeah. Right up our alley that go with our equipment. Sorry, man. Don't mean to step on you or jump on you. When was the last time someone came through here? Probably a long time. There, Nick. Ooh, another technical document. Current cigarettes, gold watch, light bulb scissors, adjustable rent, subway token. Ooh. A trunk. 20 gamma rounds. 18 plasma cartridges. 45, 745 rounds. 12 10 millimeter rounds. 20, 38 rounds of plasma grenade. Ooh. Multi cocktail. A tactical 45 plate pistol and a pulse mine. Ooh, and look at that. There is a safe, too. Wonder what's in the safe. Ooh, pfft. right off the bat, Jesus. Ooh, almost there. Oop. Or not. Maybe I need to go the other way. Voila. That's it. Some 38 rounds, some 10 millimeter rounds, and another pipe pistol, prairie war money, and gold watch. Some minor stuff, but I would take it anyways. Plus, ooh, what is that? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, that was for that trap over here. Yeah, for the laser. We did level up, so let's go ahead and level up now. We are now at level 25. Can't get the next med kit until level 30, five more levels, so we're kind of stuck on that. We could go for gun nut rank 3, or even armor rank 3. We could go for hacker. You can get scrapper. You can salvage rare components like circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber objects with scrapping weapons and armor items with favorited. Compounds are highlighted. We got all local lead, local leader. We could get scientists. I think we need to get scientists for something too. Or we could get a status. What do we got? We got six there. Let's go ahead and get a another rank. So that's what? Three, three, four, five, six, seven strength. Plus with putting strength, we get ten more pounds to carry. So we can do a total of 380. Kind of want on the next few levels work on our stats when we come back to this because as you can tell, We can't access anything after that until we get more things. Like we need maximum ten and everything to get to the bottom rank. We get access to more stuff. Like ricochet, what goes around comes around an enemy ranged attack will sometimes ricochet back. And instantly kill them. The closer you are to death, the higher the chance. It's actually quite useful. We unlock steady aim. 
Staying target hip firing accuracy is improved when firing any gun. That is definitely a nice one to have. But like I said, we'll be coming back to that. Or we'll be checking more of that out when we come back to the series. And it's like I said before, I'm not getting burned out on this. I don't want to burn myself out, honestly. But at the same time, there is other stuff I would like to get going. That are There's new stuff and re-releases of stuff that are coming out, like... Like uh, Bioshock Collection and the Skyrim re-release. Okay, so now we got to find out where he go, where we have to go. Okay, he's back at the, the, his own farm. We haven't really ran into very good luck on the whole uh, finding magazines. I think that last magazine was the last one we found in a really, really long time. Oh, he's all the way back here. Nick, out of the way. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. What is going on over there? Blake. Like, Anyone right. find in that locket? Yes, sir. I found it. It's, I got it right here. Okay. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop here, and Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. Ooh, Connie has a shop. Hey there, Connie. Oh, Miss Connie. Hello? Blake told me what you did for us. For Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. Let's go ahead and look at yeah, your right. fares right now, there, dear. Oh, we have some stuff that I want I can get rid of. Like the cocktail, that, that, that. Definitely that. Got some of these. Anything for we got that it doesn't look like we got an army helmet. Fancy lad snack cakes. Doesn't really sound very delicious. At least not in my point of view. What do you have? You really don't have much. Not nothing to aid. You get a bob pin. I'll take that. 308 ammo. Take that. That's about it. Thank you, Conley. Oh, shit. You guys are way too close to my friendly cap encampment. I don't like the idea of you guys being out this far. Super Mutant's orders. Let's go shoot your fella head. Super Mutant orders. Kill, loot, return. That is about it. So, something tells me that the super mutants have some kind of encampment slash leader somewhere that's ordering them to do this. What were they attacking out here? Why has he got a tablespoon? 
Super Mutant Suicider. Different material. Were they really just killing does out here? That's kind of surprising. But like I said, you know, Super Mutants are like the orcs from the 40k universe of Warhammer, so they're not the, the brightest. And they pretty much take anything and kill anything they want. That is like their their sport. Ooh, Wasteland Survivor Guide. Permanently take five less damage from melee attacks. Yeah, self-defense secret. Bonus Murloc. It's the Murloc slide. Sounds like a messed up dance. Hmm, not bad. Ooh. Oh, that's just point of vault 111. So did we... Okay, we declare that. Alright. There is a settlement at Storm Villa Place that we can go inspect. Not what I wanted. Wow, that's pretty far away. We won't have time for that. I say we just wander for a little bit and just go explore. If I can get off this dang porch. I'd like to move out. There's Fort Hagen. Let's head over by Fort Hagen. I know there's a bunch of locations around there that we didn't get quite a chance to look at. Um, when we return, though, to Fallout 4, I would like to uh, go search a lot of the medical buildings, like I said in the previous. Because I hear there's a lot of good loot that you can find in the, me in the medical buildings, in the hospitals and whatnot. And someone said that there is a... I believe there is a... Hey, you uh, got a sack? What's up? What's up, Nick? Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these uh, flashes, memories of places I've never been, things I've never seen, memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just... Um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine pretending to be human. You think, you feel, you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am, my judgment, my speech, hell, even my name, they're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it because without them, without them I'm nothing, a shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. A new name or build your own life. Quit petting yourself is just being rude. And Nick's been pretty nice to us. And we've been pretty nice to Nick. He's been a really good companion through a lot of this, so or separate you and Nick. Thoughts on the matter. Build you your own already life. Already build a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're not wrong. You know, I 
And I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're a, you're a real good friend. Thanks. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath a sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. <laughs> Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cry out of sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy... Oh my god, they made him a ghoul. They made him a ghoul. Guarantee it, he's a ghoul now. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned ah! into a ghoul. 200 Called years it. before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. We can't let that happen. Find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Damn straight I'm in. Hell yeah. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get then Winter. we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winters, I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I'll bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay. I believe this is our first companion type quest. Long time coming. Find anyone which is how to we got one out of ten and an optional exit Cambridge is evidence terminal. Which if we go here Okay. Oop, nope, 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 nope. We can read. Case, Eddie Winter, self-inflicted ghoul, criminal kingpin, age 200 plus, offensive, too many to count, location, underground bunker, Andrew Station, sealed with a tangent code, hollow tapes, hollow tapes hold the key to Winter's bunker. Each tape has one piece of the entry code, the 10 tapes total, 9 left. Cambridge Police Evidence Terminal, best lead for finding other tapes, possible remaining how remaining hollow tapes, location Commonwealth Police Department. Okay. Go ahead and throw that in. Message to Johnny Montrano. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You fat lazy piece of shit. I knew. I knew this arrangement was too good to be. Let's go ahead and just fast chat with really cook. Actually,
Let's join forces with the North End, huh? Bury the hatchet, work mutually against the common enemy? Well, you put the nail in that coffin, huh, boyo? What did you have to do, Johnny, huh? What was your job? Sit in your car, on the corner. Keep your eyes open. If you see a uniform, you get out. Walk down the street, knock on the door, and let the fellas know there's trouble coming. Easy as pie, right? I could have got a nine-year-old from the projects to do it. But no. No. In the interest of Irish-Italian relations, I give the job to you. So what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. You sit on your fat ass dribbling cannoli cream onto your third chin. You watch. You watch the uniform blow months of planning. All in two minutes. Congratulations, Johnny. You got me. You and your pal sure put the screws to old Eddie Winter. You should tell this funny story to your little girl when you tuck her in at night. In that corner bedroom, upstairs, pink wallpaper, little house on Prince Street. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Winter, signing off. So the first number should be number nine. And from the sounds of it, any Eddie Winters was not a very, very nice guy one bit. But we won't know until we come back because, unfortunately, everybody, that is all the time I have for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment. And I will see you all back to Fallout 4 when we return in the future. So keep a lookout for the return of this series. And I hope you guys all have been enjoying it as much as I have. And I look forward to see you guys in, the, in my other series and as well as returning to this one. So I'm out of here for the day. You guys have a good one and I will see you later. Goodbye.